Every year on June 23rd, the government of St. Lucia joins the United Nations in celebrating Public Service Day. This day aims to celebrate the value and virtue of public service to the community, highlight the contribution of the public service in the development process, recognize the work of public officers, and encourage young persons to pursue careers in the public sector. The pandemic transformed the workplace of many government agencies and the delivery of public services to the general public. Many officers, as well as the general public, had to adapt to the new working environment where government services had to be accessed and delivered online. Given the role of technology in the delivery of critical government services over the last two years, the old method of operating cannot continue, and therefore, embracing technology is now at the forefront of the future of the public service in St. Lucia. It is against this background that the theme for this year was chosen. The theme for this year is Embracing Digital Government Post-Pandemic. As minister, I need to highlight the program of activities commencing June 20th, 2022 to June 24th, 2022. Monday, June 20th, 2022. Earlier today, there was the introduction by the ICT director featuring five agencies that have embraced technology to help them enhance their work program. These agencies are Infrastructure, Inland Revenue Department, Justice, Health, and Education. Tuesday, June 21st, 2022, at 10 a.m., we have a virtual presentation from the Employees Assistant Program, EAP, on wellness. At 2 p.m., we have I Serve Because campaign. The campaign will feature different agencies where officers will record a short video of themselves telling us why they work as public officers and why their role as public officers is important. Wednesday, June 22nd, 2022, at 10 a.m., we have the ecumenical service at the minor basilica of the Immaculate Conception. At 2 p.m., public service, a model for customer service. The campaign features young persons being a public service volunteer in their community. This campaign will feature young persons in Form 4 at all secondary schools on the island, ages 15 to 16 years, and year two students, ages 18 to 19, at SALCC, who have made the biggest impact in someone's life in their community. Each secondary school is encouraged to take part in this campaign. One video per school exciting prizes will be won. All submissions must be forwarded electronically to email address publicserviceday2022 at govt.lc. Winners will be announced on Monday 27, 2022. Thursday, June 23, 2022 is Public Service Day. All public officers will wear orange on that day at 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. open day concert. Agencies are encouraged to invite the public to visit their offices to provide information on operations of the agency. Agencies are encouraged to take photos of the staff wearing the orange outfit and providing customer service guided tours of their work environment. The photo must be emailed to public service day 2022 at govt.lc. Friday, June 24, 2022, 
Staff Recognition and Appreciation Day. Permanent secretaries, heads of department from the line agencies are encouraged to organize activities to recognize and show appreciation to their staff. We recommend special recognition for the following. Staff who have made an impact technologically. Persons who have served the public service for the following years, 20 to 25 years, 25 to 30 years, and 30 years and above. Photos will be emailed to Public Service Day 2022 at govt.lc and will upload on social media. I look forward to the participation of all agencies in the program of activities for the week. Let us all continue to do our part to make St. Lucia great by putting people first. I wish to express my deepest appreciation to all public officers for your resilience and dedication during the pandemic. I salute you. On behalf of the Honorable Prime Minister and the Cabinet of Ministers, I bid you blessed and productive Public Service Week 2022. I thank you.